Do you like presents? What do you think is the best present you have got? Today, we're going to speak about that. If you're new to my channel, I'm Seema Sunil from The Happiness Quotient. I'm a corporate trainer specialized in customer centricity, leadership training and team management. Do subscribe to my channel if you like the content. In today's episode, I'm going to suggest you a self-help book written by Spencer Johnson, The Present. This is a story of a boy and a wise old man. The old man tells the boy about something called the present. This present, according to the old man, is the most valuable gift a person can receive. Why? Because it is the one thing that doesn't change in changing times. In his tireless search for the present, the boy grows into a young man. He abandons his search for the present and he begins running into problems at work and his personal life. He returns to ask the old man to help him find the present. The old man responds, only you have the power to find the present for yourself. The young man embarks on a worldwide search for this magical gift that remains unchanging in a changing world. And this gift holds the secret to personal happiness and lifelong success. The gift is not past or future. Gift is in the present moment. This interesting book emphasizes on few things. Presence at the present moment, learning from the past and planning for the future. Concentrating on the present is the best present. When you want to be happy and successful, focus on what is right now. Use your purpose to respond to what is important today. Do things differently today. To succeed in life, one must live in the present moment and use this moment. But that doesn't mean giving away the future and the past. In order to be able to participate effectively in the present, we have to experience good things and learn from past bad things. Learning from the past. When you want to make the present better than the past, look at what happened in the past. Learn something valuable from it. Do things differently in the present. You can't go back and relive or alter the past. It is hard to let go of the past if you have not learned from it. And as soon as you learn and let go, act differently in similar situations to be happier and successful you can improve the present. On the other hand, the more you plan for your future, the future will become easier for you and your concern will be lessened by the present. Planning for the future. When you want to make the future better than the present, imagine what a wonderful future would look like. Make plans to help it happen. Explore ways to achieve it. Put your plan into action in the present. This book taught me to make the most out of each moment and to learn that whether good or bad, the present is where you are and what matters most. It is only when you live with purpose or a goal that life lived in the present has a meaning. Wish you all the best to live your best life today. Live in the present moment. Good luck.